1993, we got one of the funniest and most enjoyable movies called The Mask. It featured Jim Carrey playing the role of Stanley Ipkiss who puts on a mysterious mask and it gives him superpowers. He uses it to take down the baddies and win the haughty Cameron Diaz's heart by the end of the flick. It was an amazing movie for all audiences. I mean, sure, it had some adult humor here and there, but kids didn't mind because they didn't get it, which was great. But even though this movie turned out to be great, it was actually supposed to be an insane movie about our main character abusing the crap out of his new powers and taking things too far. I'm sure many of you have heard about this and maybe you even read the comic books. There was an animated series for kids and it actually included some of the characters from the comic books, but it still wasn't an exact adaptation of the original comics. It almost feels like they tried to cover the real mass comic books because they even made comic books on the animated series. The animated series was of course targeted for kids and at one point the mask even meets Ace Ventura. Okay, that's really cool. I can't possibly complain there. So what happened? Why did they decide to change everything and make it more kid friendly? Was it because Jim Carrey was going to star in it? Was it because just like in today's movies everything gets toned down to make it PG so that more people could go and watch it? Or did they think that going all out could make this movie somehow slip under the radar? Honestly, I love the movie. I love what it turned out to be, I love the story, the music, the characters, the humor, everything works out perfectly. But if you read the comic books, you'll get a different feel from each character. You'll wish that this turned out to be the actual movie instead. I know, I find it hard to believe that the mess could have been better. No, 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 wait. I can't say that it would be better. Both stories are great in their own ways, but I don't wish for it to turn out to be like the comics. I would rather love to have both. It's just too hard to say scrap the movie and make it like the comic book version. I can't. I love the movie. If you look at the early designs for the mask, you can tell that they were actually trying to go with the comic book version. It looks like it. I mean, how else could you explain these creepy ass looks for the mask? Even the theme song sounds like it's for a scary movie. But anyways, let's take a look at what it was supposed to be. In the comics, you'll see that Stanley Ipkiss was not your average guy who just wanted someone to love. He couldn't take society, he had a girlfriend already, but didn't seem to care about her. He was a pissed off guy, he just wanted revenge on everyone who teased him, who picked on him. I mean, he even wanted to get back at his old teacher just because she gave him a hard time. The minute Stanley becomes the mask, he does say that he wants to stop crime and become a superhero, just like he says in the movie. But in the comics, he doesn't give a shit, he just gives everyone their just desserts as he says. He straight up mutilates everybody. Remember the two guys who screwed him over with his car? Well in the comics, he shoves tools down their throats and kills the shit out of them. Trust me, it's more scarier than funny. He still has his slapstick humor, but he treats everything like a cartoon, as if his victims can actually take the abuse like a cartoon character. But since this is real life, it becomes a real problem and the police does go after him, but nobody stands a chance. Remember the part in the movie where the police and SWAT finally have him surrounded and he dances his way out of there, even getting some of the cops and SWAT to dance with him? Well, in the comic books, he straight up kills everyone. He whips out machine guns, torches their asses, and setting everyone on fire. I mean, it gets out of control. There's nothing they can do to kill him. The real antagonist of the story is our protagonist. The only one capable of taking this fucker on is this big motherfucker who's like the Hulk. He can take a beating and he can give one hell of a beating. Lieutenant Kellaway is in the comic books as well, but he's more of a tough guy just to show it as in the animated series, but even he loses control sometimes. What do I mean by that? I mean he puts on the mask and goes all out and he takes down the bad guys, but even he ends up killing them as well. Now I won't tell you everything that happens in the comic books as it clearly gets better and better and well better and more insane, but guess what? There's a sequel. A true sequel, not like that piece of shit movie we got of Son of Mask. The story continued on and on, they didn't stop with one sequel, I mean, we got more intel on the mask and how it all began, and all these comic books are just as gruesome as the first. There's a story where they're testing the mask, trying to find out more on it with test subjects. It's so brutal that you don't know what they'll do next, I mean it just, oh man, it's fucking insane. There's no telling whether The Mask could have actually had a real sequel to the movie if they went with the comic book direction. Maybe we could have had uh, different actors if that happened. But if you think about it, this was the early 90s, a time when great horror films would slip unnoticed like the Wishmaster movies. So maybe they knew there was a chance that Jim Carrey would not want to be in the movie. 
He probably doesn't want to be in any violent films. You saw how he reacted after seeing the movie Kick-Ass 2, a movie he's in. So what do you think? Which version would you prefer, the lovable Stanley Ipkiss or the dark and brutal version? Let me know in the comments because as of now, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, then at least go with it so that the mess doesn't appear and chop our fucking heads off with his big white teeth. This is Score saying, have an awesome day.